This is a quick video to show you the operation of the Fluke digital multimeters and this instruction is good for uh, most types of multimeters. Multimeter indicates it will measure uh, voltage. This is voltage AC, uh, the kind of voltage that would come out of a wall, alternating current. Voltage DC, a voltage out of a battery or uh, most uh, electric motor generators. 300 millivolts, very small voltages. Omega, this measures resistance. Well, that measures the continuity of a diode. Current AC in amps. And current DC. For this class, we'll be using primarily voltage DC and current DC. The configuration of those choices changes from meter to meter, but uh, they're typically the same. Although a different color, this is the type of meter that we'll be using in the classroom. Now many of these meters come with a protective uh, case. Right here. And those cases have a uh, setup. So let's check the two primary functions. Voltage out of a battery. You take the switch, the select switch, and you place it so it's voltage on a battery. It self-ranges, it goes through a self-check, and then it tells you what kind of stray voltage you have. And now we have to worry about what kind of wires we're going to attach to it. On this particular meter, there are four options. The common or the ground wire, typically uh, colored black in most electronics, is uh, plugged in here and it's always placed there. The others are optional depending on the type of meter you want. It's a multimeter, so we can use this for measuring voltage, resistance, continuity of a diode. We measure this for measuring current. We would measure this one for measuring very small currents, but for the purposes of this class, we'll simply be measuring voltage in this one and current over there. This meter doesn't even give you the option of the small current just 10 amps. So if we're set up to measure voltage, we need to be plugged in to measure voltage. We can now use the two probes to touch the different parts of the circuit to measure the voltage across it. Now a voltmeter, a voltmeter is not considered to be part of the circuit. It's got a very, very high resistance and so I can touch a component of the circuit without really disrupting the circuit itself. So I can go around touching the different components of the circuit. I can go around touching different components of the circuit and measure my voltage. If I want to measure current, however, it's a different type of meter. It has very low resistance, and so it has to be wired differently. And in fact, an amp meter now has electricity flowing through it, it has to become part of the circuit. In order to measure current, you've got to disconnect the circuit, place your amp meter into the circuit, and then turn it back on, and it'll allow you to measure current. It's now wired up and switched to measure current. The typical mistake people make is they go to measure voltage and forget to change the current setting. Now it's a voltmeter again.